Today I want to talk to you about some new firmware that's been released from DJI this week for the FPV drone, the Mavic A 2S as well as the Mavic A 2 and explain why you may not want to update to this firmware because it will block the use of some hacks. Now in this video I'm going to explain what the situation is with this firmware and just give you some thoughts on whether you should update or not. Now just to be clear this firmware is for the FPV drone as well as the FPV goggles version version 2, the A2S as well as the A2. It does not affect standalone FPV which is the FPV A system whether it be the Cadex Vista or the DJI A unit like I've got here no matter if you use it with the goggles version 1 or version 2. It does not lock down any hacks for the FPV system whether that be FCC 700 milliwatt or 1200 milliwatt via the goggles it also does not appear to affect fcc mode on the fpv drone and it only targets the specific hacks from drone hacks that was released over the last couple of weeks now just jumping over to the desktop just to walk you through what the firmware actually is first of all so for the fpv drone it is version 01.02.0020 for the goggles as well and the release notes simply say optimized flight safety for the mavic a2s the release notes is version 02.04.20.60 and again optimized flight safety and on the mavic a2 it is 01.01.0650 .01 now, if you look at the release notes on all of these, there are no feature changes, there are no bug fixes, it simply says optimized flight safety, and the reason this firmware has been released is to block the use of these new hacks that was recently released from drone hacks that allows you to bypass the no-fly zone system as well as the altitude limit in these drones it has not been done to block anything else as far as we can tell because these hacks were using part of dji's own certificate system that they use to actually give you access to nfc's to actually remove those features completely and dji have now locked this down now, as I've already said several times, it is only for the ready-to-fly models, so the FPV drone A2S and A2, and it is only targeting these specific hacks from drone hacks. As far as I'm aware, as I've said, the FCC hack continues to work, as does the video out on the version 2 goggles, so don't worry, that is all fine. It does not appear to affect the FCC hack on the FPV drone when using D3VL, and as I've said, no effect on the standalone FPV system at all. Now, whether you should upgrade to this firmware or not is entirely up to you. There are no feature additions. There are no bug fixes listed. It is simply saying optimized flight safety. And we know that it is a response to these recent hacks from drone hacks. Now, that is really it from me on this one it is entirely down to you if you want to update this firmware or not my personal opinion is i wouldn't because there's no real benefit to doing so yet and i would certainly hang back and see what people say about it first even if you don't use any of the hacks mentioned because there is always the chance of them introducing new problems with firmware as we have seen in the past now that's it from me on this one if you have found this video useful please do consider hitting the subscribe button and don't forget to hit the little bell next to it as well. If you'd like to support the channel, there are links to Patreon as well as buy me a coffee in the description of this video as well. There is also links to my Discord server in the description too, which has free access, but there is also a Patreon section too for those who do want to support the channel that way as well. That's it from me. Please stay safe and I will speak to you guys again soon.